ma'am, sir. Good evening. And today we are going to, I am going to show you how I apply my makeup, my go-to makeup, my everyday makeup, my wake, my wake up when I go to work. And all of those mentioned is only one kind of makeup. And we are going to achieve, we are trying to achieve a natural kind of look. So using only three products. So for my face, I am going to use this Olay Natural White Whitening Cream. What I like this product is that it's not sticky on your skin. It it dries up in almost immediately after you put it on. And then the second product that we are going to use is this Ever Belina Lip and Cheek Roller in the color of Night Berry. And the third product that we are going to use is this Avon Eyebrow Powder for our brows. So that's the only products that we are going to use. And let's start. First, we are going to, sm to put a small amount of facial cream to our face. Like this. And just put it on your face, all over your face from your forehead your cheeks both your cheeks and including your eyes and also put also some small amount in your neck so that your neck matches the color of your face okay so if you are like me as you can see as you can see i have a lot of freckles and because we are going we are trying to achieve a natural look we are not going to cover those spots those sunspots those freckles because just think of it as your as your asset the anyway so we are finished putting on our face cream so the next step is we are going to put on our eyebrow powder anyway I have a really thin eyebrows. I mean, because it's so thin, the ha the eyebrow hairs are really not not noticeable. But right now, as you can see, I haven't applied eyebrows eyebrow powder yet. But my eyebrows is already shaped because I I already did a DIY kilay kilay choo choo <laughs> the other day. So if you are interested, in what products I used, what DIY I did. You can check it out in my description below i will put a link there so that you will if you haven't if you haven't watched it yet you will see how i did my eyebrows so anyway just let's put some eyebrow products on i on our eyebrows as i have mentioned in my previous video i like to use this eyebrow product using a wet brush so as you can see there's a small amount of water here I tap my brush here so that it becomes wet and that's the time that I am going to tap it on the powder. So the reason why I did this is that I noticed and I observed that if we are going to use a wet brush, the adherence of the eyebrow powder is much better and aside from that, the color of the i mean if we are going to put the product on our eyebrows we can easily distribute it to the to the right areas so anyway this is how i put on my eyebrows first of all we are going to shape the tail or the end of our eyebrows so let's see So if you are finished putting on at the tail of your, if you are finished shaping your eyebrow ends, whatever product is left on the, on the brush is what you are going to use in applying in the, what do you call this one? The base of our eyebrows, this in this area. Oh 
Oh no. So as I have said, why I prefer to use sweat brush because it's easier to distribute if instances like this the product is overlooked overly applied so see and to the other side i don't know if gets new ba yung pinagsasabi ko but hayaan niyo na <laughs> And it's much better that if you are going to apply this product, you are going to use a spoolie because after you have used this brush in applying the product, you can also use the other end, the other side of the spoolie, which is a brush, so that you can brush those harsh, harsh ends. You can neutralize the overly colored part of your eyebrows. So I think that's it. That's already enough. Just polish if you're not yet contented with the shape and with the color and everything. So after that, we are going to use our lip and cheek roller. So first off, we are going to apply this product on our lips. I like to apply it in a gradient way. Now, also, ito sa mga Korean na the inner part of the lips is much darker than the outside part. So, let's try to achieve that. So that is that color is already enough for me as you can see the inner corner is kind of much darker than the outside part so the next step is that we are going to put the same product on our cheeks just dab some product there and distribute to your cheekbones and to the other side yung bang parang nag glow glow ka lang <laughs> diba so it's not that overpowering makeup it's not overwhelming but it makes your features more presentable it makes you look better it kind of gives you that confidence that you look good without being cakey on your foundations and everything your overly applied makeup right so this is what i called makeup and honestly i don't know how to properly put on makeup like using primer foundation uh, blush on Mm, highlighters and contours I do not have that kind of skills and I think the hardest part of being a makeup artist or I think I really believe that the hardest part of makeup is putting on eyeliner and putting on falsies false eyelashes because 
how many times how many times have I tried and practiced on that but to no avail anyway so that's it that's the look that I get to wear every day but anyway if sometimes I feel kind of I want to kind of feel fancy or maybe not fancy because it's not really fancy I mean I just want my some color of, in my eyes using the same product the eyebrow powder I am still dabbing my spoolie my brush and just dab it there just to kind of emphasize and then so did you see the difference this side and this one and this one so it's not over but it's there right so the other side anyway it's not noticeable it's not really noticeable when i do this because after i apply this i'm still using my eyeglasses because i have bad eyes and i am required to use glasses and like this this is my actually this is my daily look i am using glasses every day but that's the kind of look that i got to wear every day and this look is really enough for me i don't know if it applies for you and i think this kind of look is more nababagay dun sa mga newly or ma those mga nagpa-practice pa lang na mag makeup or just starting out to put on makeup like teenagers like that and i think if you're going to use this kind of look it also gives you that nakakabata vibes right so anyway this is my daily look and hope you like it tell me what you think about this look it's very simple but it's it's presentable <laughs> i mean it's not the you know pang pang go out pang pang ano it's not that kind of makeup na pang wal wal right i mean this is just a daily makeup daily look that you can you can really put on or you can really try on so i'm not claiming i'm not i'm not claiming and i really am admittedly not a makeup pro so if you have some criticisms how about how i apply my makeup don't hesitate because i'm open to criticisms i'm open to suggestions because i think and i believe that maybe that can help in our future videos future applications on our makeup on our face so that's it don't forget to drop your comment below please subscribe and please leave a like thank you See you next time.